now that we've established our fundamentals, let's look at resistors and circuits. There are always going to be circuits that you're going to have multiple resistors and you can collapse them down into a single re resistor using the following equivalent resistance rules. We're going to go from multiple individual resistances to an equivalent resistance so that we can calculate the current using the known potential. Usually is how it will work. So you might have a couple resistors that are in series. Okay, so you see how one follows the other. And here we have the charge across these are going to be the same, whereas the potential is not. Potential drop across each one. Uh, and then you can calculate the equivalent resistance by doing just a summation of each individual resistances. The charge across these resistors is going to be the same. Current is going to be the same. Uh, whereas the potential drop across these resistors is not. And the way you get the equivalent resistance is you just add up each individual resistor that is in series, however many there are. Now, we could have a some resistors that are in parallel. In parallel means that the current can either go across one resistor or across another. Now here the potential drop across the resistors is the same whereas the current or the charge uh, across each resistor is not. And the way to get the equivalent resistances is you just do one over the resistance plus one over the resistance for however many resistors you have in parallel. Okay? And then after that, to get the equivalent resistance, after you combine them with a common denominator, you flip both sides to get the equivalent resistance. All right? That's basically it for resistors in series and parallel with equivalent capacitances. Again, the concept is to go from the multiple resistors to a single resistor, calculate what you need to calculate on a broad scale with the equivalent resistance, and then work your way backwards to find out what's going on at each individual resistor. Make sure you become proficient with this stuff because we're going to include capacitors and inductors <clears throat> and other things in our circuits, so uh, go ahead and develop a good foundation with the resistors and practice, practice, practice. Check out the example videos. Thank you and have a nice day.